welcome to my mental health vlog. I've already done a bit of filming, so if I'm in different clothes, hairstyles, etc, etc, then that is why I'm trying to switch up a little bit. But <clears throat> my aim for this video is to show people that it's okay to not be okay. Like, everyone's a human being, like we have down days. We do have down days. It's, if you're happy all the time, then there's be something wrong with you. But um, my aim is to try and support and encourage people to go and talk to someone about what's going on with them because, like, you hear about all these suicides and everything on the news, and it's heartbreaking that they felt like they had no one, and that is that that touches me because why would anyone feel like they haven't got anyone? Like that is that is so horrible. But welcome to my video, and. I hope you enjoy. I've wanted to do this video for quite a while, um, just to help other people, really, to share my experience as a teenager just going through, I'm not even a teenager anymore, that's weird to say, <clears throat> a young adult going through this and just to kind of help people who are stuck and they don't know who to turn to, don't know where to go, if they have any questions, just for just for help really. And I personally would like to take my own experience into my own hands and just help other people because it's not a very nice thing to go through. And especially like myself, like if you have to do it all on your own and it's not like it can't it cannot be very nice sometimes. Um Sorry, I keep playing my hair. It's one of my anxiety traits I have. It's, uh, if you ever see me playing with my hair, it's just my nerves. It's just some people bite their nails. I play with my hair. I wanted to say as well, thank you to all the people who have messaged me. I feel so honoured at the moment that who have asked for help or advice or have asked questions because they have boosted my confidence so much in making this video to obviously try and support other people and I was really unsure to begin with and then like if I can help one person then that's like it means the world to me okay so I'm going to begin talking about my own experience um, and there are a lot of things that people don't really know about me People can assume, people can think what they think. There are things that people be quite shocked at and things people will probably won't believe or but uh, you know, that's why I'm making this video. Um I've always really had anxiety. Um I reckon it I just never really understood it myself. Um, a lot through to school, I was a bit quiet. You know when you've got like them group of girls that you hang around with, and sometimes people make those like sarcastic, like bitchy little comments when you're talking. Like that, that started off and made me feel like I didn't want to talk in front of anyone. Made me feel so little. Like when I left school, I was so relieved, like so relieved. Like I didn't have to deal with that any longer. I remember asking my mum if I could move schools. I just come home and cry, just because it, everything you said just felt wrong, and it was horrible, and it's not really nice to go through. So after school, I um, actually found a guy, and I completely fell head over heels in love with him, and. You know when you're younger you feel like you've been in love before, but you don't actually, life does not prepare you for love. It is the most powerful emotion you can ever feel in your whole entire life and that's why splitting up and going through heartbreak was the worst thing, it was horrible, it was horrendous. Um, I don't want to say anything too bad about the guy because it if you watch this then I'm really sorry but you're part of my journey and experience for this 
so I had my heart broken completely ripped out of my chest I was crying every single day I didn't eat I didn't want to see anyone, I didn't want to talk anywhere, talk to anyone. I couldn't talk to my family, I just wanted to cry on my own. I had some of my friends stay around for like nights on end because I literally could not be on my own. I couldn't bed by myself, I couldn't sleep in a bed by myself. I kept waking up in the middle and like screaming. Like the, it was just the weirdest thing ever. And I was just so upset, I felt like my world had ended, like my world did end for a while. And I felt like I was alive, I just wasn't really there. It's just, it completely changed me. So by this point you've probably heard about my heartbreak and how that changed me as a person. And it's sad to say that I will never go back to the same person I was. But I can try. I, I probably won't, but I can always try. And people need to understand that you have emotions and you have feelings and sometimes you're not made of stone. Like, words do hurt. Words do hurt. I've been, I've had some of the m meanest things thrown at me. Like, and sometimes just take it on the s skin. I've turned into so much more of a strong person. But I didn't deserve it. I never deserved it. Um... Another thing is, a lot of people have asked me if my videos can help them. Um, I can always give you a step in the right direction, but I can never fully help you because the only person who can help you is yourself. And as soon as you start understanding all about your mental health illness and all about the changes that, you, that are available and that you can do, then you'll be able to start helping yourself. The main thing is you need to accept it. It's just, you can never fully get rid of a mental health illness, but you, you can learn how to deal with it and you can learn how to make better changes for your life that suit you.